The South Pacific Gyre is one of the most remote places in the world. Here, in the midst of the Pacific, the water is clear and blue. It contains very few nutrients. As a result, fish and marine mammals are also a rare sight. However, there are lots of microorganisms. Due to the enormous size of the gyre, these tiny organisms greatly influence the ocean ecosystem. Yet we do not know how they manage to survive in this isolated ocean desert. On board the research vessel Zona, scientists from the Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology set out to investigate how life has adapted to this apparently deserted place. As the water is so clear, sunlight can penetrate to great depths. Tiny algae that need sunlight to produce energy can still survive at 200 meters below the sea's surface. We take water samples to investigate how they can survive on so little nutrients. One means of surviving in this watery desert is to form a symbiosis, as shown by these algae and bacteria. The bacterium takes up nitrogen and transforms it into ammonium, which can then be used by the algal cell. In return, the alga takes up carbon dioxide and transforms it into sugar. The sugar is then available to the bacterium. This symbiosis benefits both partners, algae and bacteria. However, they need further nutrients such as phosphorus and iron that are rarely found in this remote place. Where do the organisms find these other nutrients? How do they manage to survive? That's what we try to find out. As the South Pacific Gyre is so big, its inhabitants and their activities strongly influence the global cycles of carbon and nutrients. Exploring this part of our planet can help us understand how these cycles change and how these changes affect organisms near and far.